Well, another winter storm is bearing down on areas already dealing with last week's snow that left nearly two feet of snow in some parts. And along with the winter weather, this storm could be followed by more intense cold, giving no chance for last week's snow to melt and no break at all for the winter weary. So why are we getting so much snow? Joining me now from Washington, D.C. is climate scientist Brenda Eckwurzel with the Union of Concerned Scientists. And with another good morning to you, the, the name of your group, the Union of Concerned Scientists, why the name and how much in terms of what's happening right now reflects the reason for your name. Uh, one thing we're concerned about is what's really going on with these winter storms. Uh, what's going on is that we are burning a lot of coal and oil and that is leading to extra carbon in our atmosphere trapping extra heat. And that's turbocharging our weather patterns. What this means is that during summer and springtime where it rains it's falling much heavier than it did decades ago. And during the winter, we're recording even heavier snowstorms. Mm. What this means is that climate change is creating a new normal, and officials need to prepare their communities to create safer communities for this future condition. You know, um, Brenda, I'm going to have my director put up uh, the graphic that will show the snow totals and how disproportionate they are this winter. But, you know, when you make an argument of climate change and global warming and the like, you know, it's really hard to see how the warming is bringing all this snow. I mean, can you, can you put that together in a logical explanation? Sure. Well, what we know is that we've had record ocean temperatures. They're warming up. This creates a lot of moisture sources. We also have, uh, with climate change, we have shifting jet stream. And we've sort of blown open the planet's freezer door. And the Arctic blasts are coming down, combining with this moist Gulf of Mexico moisture. And you create this terrible combination, uh, which dumps a lot of snow. And ironically, this past summer, we had record third lowest sea ice extent, which led to a cascading set of conditions and the shifting jet stream and this more, more moist uh, from the warmer <laughs> oceans that lead to this terrible combination of very uh, treacherous snowstorms oh, this season. Oh, indeed, treacherous. I mean, they've been fatal, as you know, in many places. Brenda, I'm curious, can you make the leap between an extreme winter like this to expectations of an extreme summer in terms of heat? Uh, what, ironically, with climate change, we see that the warmers are, went, are rising much faster than the summer. So our temperatures are increasing faster during the winter season than during the summer season. Uh, and so that creates a situation when you have uh, more moist conditions, it's still below freezing, you can create very uh, heavy snowfall. If you have very extreme cold, cold, cold conditions, you tend to have a little bit less precipitation in the form of snow. Okay. So ironically, we get a little more snow as we're warming up the planet. Well, okay. There you have it. Brenda Eckwurzel, thank you so much for weighing in. Appreciate that.